our project is symmetric symmetric encryption of cryptography in java we are going to create one encryption and decryption description i'm also provided i'm going to do encryption and decryption encryption is coming along with decryption only so our java program is going to encrypt the data and we are going to use some cryptography algorithms here so this is our project and uh, there are different cryptography uh, algorithms available on internet or you can check uh, different algorithms are developed uh, but uh, regardless of these cryptography algorithms i am going to tell you how we are going to perform this all the things and what is the symmetric key and everything here so uh let us see how we are going to proceed so i will tell you what is the cryptography everything but first uh, our project aim is basically we are going to develop one uh, encryption for particular file or you can say text because it's mainly related to text you can encrypt images also in using java but uh, for the basic steps we are considering as a step, uh, text then steps of development i am using here servlet program also and i am going with some basic java development also using this so please note that this is not very higher level language uh, or higher level program i am going to use i am going to go with some simple cases furthermore you can use this with maven dependencies spring boot then uh, hibernate also you can use some encryption properties so steps of development is our project setup understanding different tools java basics cryptography algorithms what are the different cryptography algorithms and what is their resemblance or what, what is the particular uh, what we can say the crypt, why the algorithms are developed different that i will tell you java servlets encryption and some final deployments like servlet part and etc so application requirements are nothing uh, you can use any id my preference is i uh, jetbrains id net means you can go with eclipse also no problem jdk 1.8 or 16 why i am telling 1.8 servlet programs runs on sometimes 1.8 with tomcat and that uh, uh, with tomcat and plus this server also uh, my main dependencies then java servlet for servlet purpose java local hosting servers which is basically tomcat and glassfish basic java programs java security modules some we are going to discuss here so that's it about application requirements so let me tell you what is the cryptography here and what is their resemblance so i will go with uh, drawing board hope you can see okay so let us consider two three cases here first uh, let me tell you what is the this things so consider there are two participants a and b okay a and b are two participants here a and b are two participants in the chat system you can say or you can say in uh, anything i am not considering here only chat system you can consider as anything here but uh, normally a want to send a message to b okay a sent message to b b sent message to a okay that's very simple technique message like uh, different things like uh, live chatting now there is one another participants name as c here okay consider there is one another participants c what is the c is doing here c is c is capturing their messages through these uh, protocols or networks you can say c is capturing the message from uh, a and b chat so now you can tell us this all this system is not very secure why they don't want to um, introduce any other in their chat but sees sees still in their data okay so this is not um, what we can say recommended thing in a 
Java or any, any language like chat system also. So there is no confidentiality like interpretation like attacker consider C as attacker. He, this is the attacker and attacker is what is attacker is doing? Attacker is uh, facing all like there uh, he can check or uh, that attacker can check anything throughout that data. So let me remove this. So there is no integrity in this like there is no specific integrity attacker can read anything. Okay. So that's a confidentiality. Now let me tell you what is integrity here. Okay. So this is not integrity. This is confidentiality. Sorry about that. But confidentiality means there is no security in their chat. Then let me tell you what is integrity. There is one A. Again B. Okay. Uh, a is sending data to B but what is now let me introduce one another participants here C okay now C is attacker so let me mention his name is as attacker C is not allowing A to send this data C is capturing data from A and sending to B with modification like A is sending data to B C or call okay a is sending data for b call so c captured this data and now what c modified it c modified it to something else c modified it to fall okay but this and this data is not same call and fall are totally different data or we can say totally different message so there is no integrity between this so attackers in the network can do such things so not always attacker but anyone in the network can check their data even without authentication now there is two persons a b consider c is vulnerable or we can say c is uh, attacker a is not sending anything to b okay a is not sending anything to b but what C is doing? C is sending call on behalf of A. Means C is not A don't want to send data to B, but C is sending that A is telling to something B or like call, like any message. So there is no authentication part in this. So now you should understand why we required encryption. Encryption is basically just securing the data there is one another case also why we require cryptography techniques or encryption techniques a and b want to send data but c is not allowing to do anything on network okay c is blocking all the messages so that's a part of uh, daniel which is basically denial which is uh, systems which is not allowing any message to send on network so now you should understand why we require encryption or cryptography techniques encryption is basically just securing the data so is there is one way or you can check like that um, in our homes or anything we lock our room so consider our key is password and we uh, hide data in our room and we locked with the password and password is some uh, like uh, we have the key okay now for the locking purpose of our room this is my room what i did i used one key this is my key i used one key to lock and this is act as a password for me okay so this is password for me let me write this is password for me okay but can you assure that this key is always safe for this lock no not password is always safe why there are specific length of passwords and attacker can choose but choose that part randomized so attacker can on the network can check anyone for randomized thing like brute force algorithms are there randomized things putting random so password is not always a solution so what we can do we can create one key like part 
So now I'm go with one scenario. A is sending to data to B. This is very simple technique. A is sending to data message call, but not like this. Okay. So instead of sending call directly, instead of sending call directly, call directly to this uh, B. What A is doing? A is implementing with call each digit with plus one. Okay. Now what is call plus one? C D. Okay. C next letter is D. A next letter is B. L next letter is M M. Okay. D D uh, D B M M. So is there any uh, what we can say? naming part or is there any uh, meaning for dbmm no not at all so if instead of sending this a is sending call plus 1 as dbmm and if c captures this it will not understand that a dbmm what is this thing dbmm there is no meaning for this so as a is sending data to B plus one. That's an encryption thing. B is what doing? B is just doing minus thing for the not this call for the DBMM purpose for this. So now what on the B side is working? D minus one is C. B minus one is A. MM is call. So now M uh, B understands it's a call message. While receiving this also, C is never understand what is DBMM meaning. So there is one encryption thing. Uh, so in the next part of what it, uh, I am going to explain, what is the symmetric key and everything. So this is it for this part. But let me tell you some more about this thing. So uh, what is the symmetric here thing? A and B is sending data to this and this uh, with encryption with encryption I will put this as encryption over this this is encryption so encryption is basically converting simple text to some uh, complicated text or we can say hideable text that I created that dbmm is there is no meaning for dbmm now so this is hideable text you can say so that hiding text is basically cipher text known as so converting this part is known as encryption and converting dbmm to one simple message or that hideable cipher text to simple message is known as decryption in uh, cryptography techniques so why we required this i told you for integrity authentication very purposes but why we never use passwords or uh, just typing the passwords that's not at all working always so we can use uh, cryptography techniques and there are more lot of advanced algorithms based on this then symmetric thing is basically for the encryption means sending data with some uh, sending data with uh, some key that I used here call plus one na? so that's a key one is key so encrypting one is a key there so for encrypting and decrypting if key is same it's known as symmetric oh symmetric data is very uh, cryptography is very compli complex thing uh, but using some algorithms we can simplify those things also that i will tell you what is uh, asymmetric cases here so hope you understand thank you